That's exactly what I thought. And then the people were so nice. It was like a seated hall, you know. And there was, I told my mom this when I got home, there was a, a really old lady right in the front. She was like 90. She was 93. And she had a walker and she, she was beautifully dressed. He's fine. He's fine. Awesome. Um, but I was really afraid of offending her. Like, you know, like I'm cursing and saying stuff. Like, I have a song about a hooker, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> and at the end of the show, like, it went really good, and they stood up, you know, like a standing ovation. And I hear someone go, that was damn good. It was her. <laughs> <laughs> so I went over and talked to her afterwards. She's so funny. She's like, I, that's the best show I've seen in a while. So I, like, I like to talk to her. She hugs me. I, I had been sick, so I was like, I don't want to hug you. I don't want to get you sick. I'm thinking she's frail. She's like, at my age, I'm going to die anyway. <laughs> and then so I, there's a line, like I'm selling CDs, and she comes up with her walker. She stops, and she starts dancing. And she's like, there's no business like show. <laughs> she's the best lady ever. <laughs> oh, life goals. Huh. Yeah, okay. Stacia, that was her name. Oh, oh shit. Pop, sorry, Brendan and Caitlin. You guys know that it was cursing. <laughs> <laughs> your dad is your dad, so we can book him. <laughs> so then we'll just go ahead and play the hooker song now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what's usually Santa Claus for us? 